Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am making this for YouTube, and I know that this is perfectly all right to put up because there's nothing negative about the government or any other thing that they're doing. This is strictly prophetic for those who are in the 144,000 group of the Lord's super soldiers. And this, these three visions were received by Kathy from, from Grafted in Team Jesus. It's called The Lord's Super Soldiers and the Wall of Color by Kathy. Okay, this is amazing. I'll try to get through it. I'm... I'm, I probably should preface this, preface this with, I haven't been very well, and I don't, you know, we, we're not really supposed to talk about it, because it, when you say things out loud, your words can bring things into being, and you're supposed to say, I know I'm well, I've been made well, through the stripes of Jesus, and I am well. Okay, I've been doing all that and stuff, but uh, last couple days I'm not. I know the Lord has me, and this is probably temporary, but it's been like off and on for a couple weeks. And it's 4.15 p.m. Saturday, May 15th, and um, it's usually gone by now, but it's, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's just the myalgic encephalomyelitis. It's just a fact. I got it from a s s shot that I got in 19... Two of them in 89, and the third booster was in 1990. And that's all I have to say about that. Well, I guess I could tell you it was for hepatitis B. And I got sick a week or two later. So I want to read this to you. This is what is going to happen to us people, the first fruits, visions from the Lord from February 2019. For 20 years, my husband and I were staunch post-trib. That means they were firm believers it, that it was a post-tribulation rapture. And then, in an amazing and supernatural way, the Lord revealed purely by his rhema word through three open visions, the transfiguration of the first fruits bride. Many may have heard of the first rapture or the transformation, but the Lord gave me the word transfiguration. Because he told me that Jesus trans Jesus' transfiguration on the mount was the precursor or a type and shadow of what will happen to the first fruits when we go outside of time and get our glorified bodies to come back into the harvest to help bring in the rest of the body of Christ. Isn't that exciting? And we're there. We're, we're like so there. It won't be much longer. Throughout the last 20 years, as the Lord strengthened my walk with him, he has always revealed things to me first by his spirit, 
through the rhema word. Rhema is whatever you get from the Lord that is not in the Bible. Okay? As Kathy's always been teaching us, you got to have the rhema word, the written word, and the body of Christ. You, you, there's nothing wrong with asking some people you trust, you know, are filled with the Holy Spirit as they have evidence and they receive the rhema word for themselves in some way, either through a vision or a dream. They get dreams or they get words. Some sort of supernatural way the Lord deals with them. It might be through numbers. They look the numbers up and there's a message to it. That does happen. You just have to know that it's the Lord and can't take any old number off a license plate and look it up and, oh, hallelujah, that's a message. And it might not be. It's, it, is it a pattern of getting numbers see people who get them they know they have a knowing in their spirit this is how God talks to them let me continue so uh, let's see the word rhema he has always revealed things to me first by his spirit through the rhema word and then as time went on he then revealed to me, through his word, all of the scriptural backup. Everybody has their own wonderful relationship with him. And this is how he always worked with me. And I'm going to add here, because it's not in here, that she also got confirmation when others... A couple of others got the same kind of revelation of going through a wall of color. Okay, I'll let that stop it right there and keep going. So for the first time, we began to understand that things were going to happen much differently than we expected. See, you have to be hum humble enough to accept the fact that you're not always right. They believed in post-trib for years and years until 2019. So is it possible that the way you've been believing for years and years might just be a little differently than you expected? Think about it. The wonderful thing was, because we were post-trib, to begin with, it was so amazing and such a miracle to understand um, Hold on, I lost my place. Okay, it was such a miracle to understand that we would not have to go through the, the, the entire tribulation that there really would be an escape outside of time with Jesus for the first fruits. We were so incredibly excited. I had three open visions. In the first vision, I saw a giant nuclear explosion go off. And then I saw this army with myself in the front row, just marching forward and our whole army marched more like charged right through the entire explosion and came out the other side with mighty power just like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego we came out the other side not even smelling like smoke still charging forward in the second vision, I was in a classroom, and the Holy Spirit was our teacher. Hey! Hey! Don't chew up their house. They need to live in that. Chew up something else. Don't chew that up. I told you. Sorry. My dog's trying to chew up 
the raccoon's trash can. And then they won't have a place to live. Go chew up something else over there. Go get Mr. Happy. Go get Miss Mimi. Go chew on her ear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he tore up that squirrel house. He, I think I showed y'all some videos. How he had it on his head like a helmet. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I got distracted. I love my dog. I talk to him all the time. All right, let's see. But it was amazingly beautiful. I came to understand that this wall of color... Did I get that far? All right, let me back up. I'm so sorry. In the second vision, I was in a classroom, and the Holy Spirit was our teacher. I was in the row that would normally be next to the windows. However, instead of the windows being next to me, there was a huge wall of color. The best way I can describe what this looks like, the background was almost a deep blue or indigo with every possible color that you can imagine sort of swirled into it with sparkles all through it. It is very hard to describe, but it was amazingly beautiful. I came to understand that this wall of color was representing the veil. I knew that the Lord was teaching me that this wall of color is what we will walk through when we go outside of time with him. So as I sat there in the class, the Holy Spirit signaled to me to go ahead and put my hand and forearm into the wall of color just to see what would happen. He was teaching me. So I reached my hand into the wall of color and my entire hand and forearm were completely surrounded by light just as a cloud would have a silver lining. And I quickly pulled it out and giggled because it was so amazing to see this. In the third vision, I was sitting here at my desk and I heard the Lord's voice calling me. And when I heard his voice calling, I could see in the spirit he was hovering in the sky, calling out, come on or come, it's time. And at that moment, I knew exactly what was happening. And I jumped up as fast as I could and I ran out my back door down the stairs and around the front of our house. Their house is, is the second floor of an old mill. And so they rent the whole top. And so that's why she had to go downstairs to get outside. And I can just imagine this in my mind, you know. And I ran out my back door down the stairs and around the front of our house. And in front of our house is normally a busy country road. However, all that had dis all that had disappeared. And it was this huge, beautiful, grassy area that led up to a grassy hill. And at the top of the hill was this same wall of color. And it went for miles and miles. I ran as fast as I could to get to the top of that hill. Yet I felt the need to look to my right to see if there was other people. And I did see some running towards it, but very, very few. And I thought to myself, wow, there's so few people coming. But then I realized, of course, it's because it's only the first fruits coming up here. And then when I got to the top, there was about four or five people with me. 
and we kind of stopped at the top and looked at the wall of color and looked at each other, wondering if we should just go ahead and run in, when suddenly a man from behind us, so excited, he ran straight in and then right back out, and his entire body was literally glowing with that same light I had seen in that classroom. But it was a hundred times more amazing. He was just glowing with that light of God and understood, and I understood, And understand, I had this vision before I understood anything about how Scripture says, Arise and shine, or really any of the scriptural backup of the transfiguration. I hadn't learned anything about how grounded in the Word this teaching was. All I did was have these visions and waited to see how God was going to confirm this to me. And over the past two years, he has never ceased to amaze me on how the first fruits transfiguration is literally throughout the entire word of God. It is so amazing. I just thought I would share this with you all. By now, all of the first truths know who they are, beyond a shadow of a doubt, because we have all been sanctified, and we are ready to go outside of time with Jesus, get our glorified bodies, so that we can get back into the harvest and begin our work. So most who are going to be reading this and come to the site regularly, you all know the scriptures that back up the transformation. However, if anybody wants to see more on this, or lots of scriptures on it, just pop over to our website at teamjesus222.com where you'll find lots of info as well as links to our videos that explain everything. God bless you all and we'll see all the first fruits outside of time. Glory to God. And that's the end of it. And I say praise be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You can write a comment. I cannot wait. Oh, it doesn't say. Uh, let me see. I got to sign my name, I guess. She'll know who I am. Let's see. Oh, you have to sign up. Or sign up with email. Okay, well, I don't know about that. I'll just tell her I tried. Oh, it went unable to publish. Oh, okay. Unknown member. Well, it knows me. I just don't know how to sign it. Login is at the very top. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And I pray that you will check out their channel because they have some awesome videos. They, Kathy tries really hard, too hard in my opinion, but that's just how she feels led. She's they covered the Israeli bombings and uh, stuff that's going on with Russia and Ukraine. They cover people's prophecies and sometimes we break them down with the scriptures she can't play them all but she'll tell you a minute a sentence or two or three and then say the link is in the description box and um, it's just amazing what all they do besides the fact that if you will write to her 
you can get her to help you with heart healing and deliverance and that is the main gist of their the main focus of their ministry is to help you get delivered from anything that has plagued you over your years of life from any traumas sins that brought um you know maybe a lot of guilt and you need to deal with that just whatever i think i mentioned stuff yesterday or the day before well this is the end of that so i'm i'm sorry i'm just i'm trying my best to <laughs> speak coherently here and um put something on for you because i i do i'm praying y'all i'm praying about dropping youtube and i have a very 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 good reason for it which you'll find on BitChute as soon as I can get it up okay it's Jeannie Loves Jesus on BitChute it probably won't be tonight I don't know I'm gonna look for it it's on Kathy's channel it was recorded yesterday and I, I, or I asked her is this, is this recorded she said yes it is and I'm she was playing it for us. I wouldn't do very well in jail. And it may be just a scare tactic, if you know what I mean. I don't know what to think about it. I, I've got to pray on it. I will have to be extra careful about what I say. We'll see what happens. That the Lord pray that the Lord will reveal to me what to do. Okay, would you do that for me? Pray that He will reveal to me what to do. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and all of our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.